Hey guys, so I made a new deck. This is the deck I have fallen in love with. It is 15 and 0. So I've been able to play test the deck against a lot of my friends. Uh, my friends have made the gauntlet that Kenji made and this deck is probably the best deck of the gauntlet in my opinion. Uh, your land base, Wenchweb Heath, a Canopy Vista, four Sand Steep Citadels, four Caves, four Land of War Waste, three Forest, one Plains, a Swamp, and the best card in like the whole deck in my opinion, the Shambling Vent. So total, I think you have 24 at least, or 26 land, let's count. So that's, uh, that's 20 here. Yeah, you have 26 land and you will see why you need so much land. It is abs and aggro, but the land fixing is extremely relevant for this type of deck. You have two murders cut, very, very good card in the deck. Uh, four rhinos, two Gideons, two Sorens, and abs and charm is actually one of the better cards in this format, so it does remove creatures that you have problems with. Four Drainers, Liberated of Malkoff. This card, a lot of people are telling me it's only good in allies, it's only good in tokens, but the card can take over the game by itself. Because it does pump itself, remember. Two Painful Truths, two Paths, uh, four Den Protectors, four Death Dealers, uh, three Dromokras Command, still very good card, and one Hang a Back Walker. I think the only change I would make is I would go to four hang back walkers. I would probably cut, I would probably cut the murderous cuts as well as the maybe one painful truth. Painful truth is very very good, but absent charm just gives you the flexibility of drawing and it's a little more flexible than painful truth. Painful truth is a little more powerful in this deck because you're always going to draw. I mean, you're drawing at least two, but a lot of times, I was saying 80% of the times you're drawing three cards. A Planet Outburst, so this is a sideboard. I believe you have a play set of Ultimate Price. So the reason the Ultimate Price is such a good sideboard card, it kills Jace, it kills any of the Planeswalkers that it's trying to flip on you, and it does it at instant speed. Ruinous Path, I like the card, it just seems slow, it's not Hero's Downfall, but it's good enough, right? Talking about that, you have two more paths. Uh, it's still good. I mean, Hero's Downfall was very, very good. This card is just slightly less good. Uh, you have two Sorens, another Painful Truth. Painful Truth can be absolutely OP in some matchups. Uh, it just gives you so much value so so early on, and then fixes your land draws as well. Another Murder's Cut, and then Feed the Clan. Feed the Clan is only for one type of deck. It's against mono red. It allows you to recover at instant speed. Rhino is nice, but sometimes free life is not enough. You need 10. And that kind of puts the game out of range because instead of the game becoming, for them, get you down from 20, uh, the game becomes, hey, you have to do it all over again. So it's very demoralizing when you do a feed a clan on a, you play a Rhino and then you gain life, then you do feed a clan and then you, gain 10 more life and they're mono red and they're just like, okay, 10 life is, in this format, five burn spells essentially. I guess if it's two exquisite fires and then a wild slash, and that being the ideal burn in this uh, format. So very good deck, I like it a lot. It is 15 and 0, I haven't lost yet with the deck and I played a lot of really good decks. Bye guys.